Welcome to Visual Composer Video Academy. In this video tutorial, we are going to look on how to replicate such layout. First of all, you will need to prepare a few images. I have already done that. And of course, have paragraph text to use. You can use such layout for representing your creative works, products or anything else you can imagine. Ok, let's start with the blank page. As you can see, there are a row with a few columns. Let's start by adding simple row element and dividing it into columns. Ok, now Let's add the text. For paragraph uh, text title, I'm using custom heading element there because I want my title to look a little bit different. Let's specify font size, line height, add a bit of color, I'll choose dark gray and use font. Okay. So, yes, text alignment. Let's put it center. Looks nice. Next, I'm going to add a text block. Again, I'm just going to copy text there and set it to be centered. Okay, looks nice. Next, let's add a single image element for adding our first image. I like my images to always be prepared in the size I want to use, so I basically usually use image size full. But it's ok to use any other size. So I have already my images in the media library, you may probably need to upload your ones. Let's select the first image. We have the size full and set alignment to center. Looks nice. Ok, I can add the single image element here as well, but it's a bit faster if, if I'm just duplicating it. And as I have the same params for all images, but uh, there are, the only difference is the image source, so I just specify different image there. Ok. So, it's, it looks almost the same, I just need to add a bit of spacing over there and a bit of spacing at the top of my title. So let's go into custom heading, design options and I, I will add a bit of padding at the top and, and some space between. Ok, here you go. Looks, looks similar. Ok, what we want to do next? Uh, first, in order to explain the difference, I will add design options for the row background color and actually put it stretched. Ok, so if I'm going to add another row there and there, I will need to specify background color for each of rows, ensure that they are merged together, there is no spacing and so on. And as you can, as you know, we are using 12 12 of, of uh, grid, which is a bootstrap principles. But it is uh, actually allowed to add more columns than 12 12s. So I'm going to add a bit more columns to completely replicate this structure I got over there. So I will need to add columns, four columns for this row and three columns for this row or actually it's a line because we are using only one row. Okay, great. Now we have a canvas to work with. I'm just going to add a bit padding for the row on top and bottom. 
let's add a bit of space, it, it will look nice. And yes, what we're gonna do next. First we are going to add images as we already know how to do it real quick. Just duplicate the image. Okay, and another one, another one over there. Okay, and let's just change the images. images. Now we are going to add this paragraph text. It's again also really simple. Let's just copy text and drag it into this column. I'm again going to copy exact text. And paragraph text as well. Okay, almost done there. So, looks nice. Does it look similar? Almost. We need to add those separators. Okay, let's let's add a simple separator. We want it to be for this one pixel. The element width 50%. And I probably want to specify my own color to make it a bit darker. Good. Now I'm just setting alignment to the right. And it's good. Looks, looks the same, but the position is wrong. So what we are going to do? We are going to add a padding. And here you go. The position is actually as it should be. Now we need to add another separator. Just duplicate it, add to the, this column and set alignment to the left. Okay, so the layout is the same. But again, we always need to take care of our mobile view. If I'm going to resize this layout, you will see that there, there are unnecessary columns. You probably don't want to display separators on the mobile view. So it, it, it looks nice, but it could be better. So what I'm going to do is simply disable few columns on our mobile devices. Go the first column. We we'll, we don't need also this one empty column on mobile view, and also this column with the separator. Okay, just going to app update. Open it. No tab. Okay, and now let's drag our window and see how it changes. Okay, this is our first viewport and this one is second. You see no more empty columns, no more unnecessary separators. So it's really mobile friendly. I can even adjust a few images uh, not to be displayed on mobile if I wish, but it's, it's up to you to decide if you are going to do so. So this was basically how you can easily replicate such layout and I'm wishing you good luck with your own creative work.